last time they were preparing to vote him out of office, they're seeing more and more that it's the same Kevin Rudd and it's the same Labor Party. Certainly this shows that there's a tough contest ahead of us. Uh, Kevin Rudd's a very good campaigner. And Ken, we do have some breaking news this afternoon. Kevin Rudd has just announced that Catholic schools have signed up to the government's Gonski reforms for better school funding. The Prime Minister made the announcement in Melbourne just a short time ago and he spoke about the benefits that are in store for the more than 1,700 Catholic schools across the country. Have a listen. Our objective is clear. We want our kids to be the best educated, best skilled, best trained workforce anywhere in the world. And to do that, we've got to make sure that every school gets the resources it needs. So a big development this afternoon for Catholic schools, but Kevin Rudd still has some work to do when it comes to government schools. Not all states have signed up, including Victoria, but we have just been told that Kevin Rudd is meeting with Premier Napthine this afternoon, so perhaps there may be a development in relation to this in the coming days. Ken. Thank you, John. John O'Doherty there in Canberra. And Robert Hughes has vowed to clear his name after fronting a Sydney court on 11 child sex abuse charges, the former Hey Dad star is facing accusations he indecently assaulted five girls in the 1980s. He will plead not guilty to the allegations and ask for an early trial date after formally wavering his right to a committal hearing. The 64-year-old will appear in court again on Friday. Child killer Kelly Lane smiled and waved to family members today as she faced a, a court to overturn her murder conviction. The 38-year-old is serving at least 13 years behind bars for the killing of her newborn daughter, Tegan. Nine's Jane Azapati has just stepped out of the courtroom. Jane, uh, talk us what uh, happened and what, uh, what has uh, been resolved there today.